We're keeping a close eye on the radar here over the next several hours through the early evening with the potential for an isolated strong or severe thunderstorm. Places like Narragansett, the risk of seeing that is very low. And while it's not the prettiest of beach days, the cloud cover is actually a good thing. It helps to stabilize the atmosphere. It's kept our temperatures a little bit cooler, and that should help to limit the severe weather threat. Into Providence this noontime, we have uh, partly cloudy uh, conditions, but a few sprinkles rolling through too. And you can see those on live Doppler radar. If we widen out the view even further, the showers are still fairly benign. There's no severe weather, no lightning showing up here, but we do have a few downpours and we'll have to watch for the areas across western New England. There's some clearing happening along the Connecticut coastline and Long Island, and we could see some storms develop in that region in the next few hours. Our threat tracker for today elevated due to that thunderstorm threat Thursday. I expect us to stay dry, but by Friday we'll have another chance, mainly northwest Rhode Island, for an isolated late afternoon or evening thunderstorm. Well, you can really feel the change with the dew points up to 76 right now in westerly. Block Island dew point 75. That is just about as high as it gets for us here in New England. We've got a, an impressive air mass in place over the next several days. So you take the temperature 79 in Smithfield, it feels like 82. We're in the upper 70s and westerly right now, 75 in Newport Harbor with those uh, winds out of the south and east. The warm front has lifted north of us. That has unleashed all that muggy air, and it's here to stay over the next few days. In terms of where we could see severe weather, the higher risk is in the areas of yellow, and then going down from there, dark green with a lower risk of severe storms the farther south and east that you go. So here we are in those northern Bristol and Providence County across eastern Massachusetts, inland areas, western Kent County, watching for that potential thunderstorm. Now the forecast shows here, this is an hour by hour high resolution forecast where most of the storms don't hit us. In fact, there's a higher risk in western Massachusetts and Connecticut and only a low risk here in the northwestern part of the state. So from Providence south and east, I don't expect any severe weather today. Looking at that hour by hour forecast into the night, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. So just keep an eye out this afternoon for a brief storm. Temperatures in the lower to possibly mid 80s. If we can get a break in the cloud cover to allow for a little bit of sunshine. Warm and humid, the theme of the evening and overnight. Lots of uncomfortable sleeping weather. You're going to have your fans going, and if you have an AC uh, kicking next few nights with low clouds and fog, a concern. So while Thursday is a dry day, I do expect to see some building surf and the potential for for rip currents, a higher risk of rip currents at our area beaches. And it's not just for tomorrow, but over the next few days. So 82 for today, we jump up to 89 for your high tomorrow with the heat index. We're going to be feeling like we're in the lower to mid 90s. It's hot, humid with that isolated thunderstorm threat on Friday. The weekend, so Saturday, we've got another chance for uh, an isolated shower or thunderstorm Sunday, Monday looking dry and just the slightest dip in the humidity, but not really a big improvement.